I'm waiting for the state trooper. I got pulled over by a state trooper. They got more class. A little bit more class than the city cops. The city race soldiers. <laughs> He said, there's a warrant out for my arrest from 2007 in Detroit. <laughs> I remember what it was about. I remember. Mm -hmm. I told this female where she can go. And it was regarding my son, Suleiman. I was protecting my son. <laughs> Lioness Diva was protecting her son. And so, she, she she filed a case against me for cussing her out. So, I'm waiting for the state trooper, Michigan state trooper, to tell me what 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 I'm going what I have to do. Hmm. A 2007 warrant arrest. <laughs> I saw that online a while back. But I, I thought I handled it. It wasn't nothing to do about it. You know? So anyway, I'm waiting for this state trooper to come back and release me. I've been sitting out here for 20 minutes. I haven't been stopped by the uh, race soldiers in about mm, 10 years. And I remember one time a, 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 a policeman stopped me on the large freeway in Detroit about 20 years ago. And I was looking good that day. And I, he was shady. A brother. And he had no reason to stop me. And why is a, a city cop stopping me on the freeway, the large freeway, pulled me over? And he looked very shady. <laughs> I felt very uncomfortable. He had no reason to stop me. He stopped me just to talk and shoot the breeze. And if it had been dark, who knows what. But anyway, I'm still waiting to see what the instructions is on how to clean up this 2007 warrant for telling a lady where to go regarding my son, Suleiman. And by the way, I have on my son's hat. This is Suleiman's hat. I asked the, the uh, race soldier, the, the why did he stop me? Was it because of my hat? And he said, no, he run uh, license plates all the time. I'm out here in the uh, suburbs and it's becoming black every day. I just left the market and there's more and more of us in the market. They getting ready to move because whenever we show up, they move further and further away. But Myers is a good market. Very economical. I remember when the power went out in Detroit about 15 years ago. The Eastern Board, Canada, and East uh, United States. The power went out. And it was out for like a week. And it was just getting ready to get bad. And then they turned the power back on. But we had to go into the little corner stores. And you give them $10 and because the power went on, if you bought something for $8 or whatever, they give you, you didn't get any change back. But I didn't know to come to maybe 15 miles out of my way and, and go into Myers because they had the power on. European Americans take care of European Americans and we have to follow them. But I didn't know to do that. And that reminds me of that movie Across 110th Street. And Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear, had robbed the uh, drug dealers. And his name was Tony Frans Franscosis. This is a 1971 um, buffoonery movie. And this black guy, which was Huggy Bear, robbed the drug dealers. Dealers, the big time drug dealers, and didn't know to leave the country or go to Canada or Mexico somewhere. He stayed on the same block spending their money. So they already knew who robbed him because he was in, he didn't know to leave. 
We stay in the hood when you get money. Don't know to leave. He stood there spending the money. Telling everybody. Doing everything. Just flashing it. So we don't know to get out the ghetto. We feel trapped. We don't know if you have a car. To go where they shop. Go where their lights and power don't go out. Go where their food is fresh. And the freezers are working. And it's, the meat is not spoiled. Here you come. All right, Miss Deborah. So I have some news. It's not great news. Okay. De Detroit wants you to get that taken care of today. So you got to go with me today. Okay. No. You got to go with me, get that taken care of, and then, and then you'll be done with it forever. I got to go downtown Detroit? Yes, ma'am. You going to drag me down there? Yes, ma'am. No. Well, I'm, I'm going to take you up to Wash down. They're going to come get you. No way. They, that, that's what they said. That, that's, that's, that's what we got to do today. They want you to go today and take care of it. I don't owe any money, though. No, I, 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 don't, I don't know what it's. All, I'll, I I'll have to go him. home. All My right. dog is there. My husband is I'm an sorry. invalid. We'll, 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 call, we'll call him. Okay, well, follow me home. We'll, we'll, we'll call him, okay? Um, I, all I have is what the screen says, okay? Why did you do this to me today? Why? It wasn't even it, necessary. It, just, it popped up on the screen. That's it. I just have a job to do. That's all. So, so Detroit wants to come get you today from Washington. So we got to go up there and that way you can get done and it's over forever. That's too much trouble. I'm telling you the you truth. Park, you can park your car here. I'll no, I want to go home. I got to take my car home. And my dog is we'll there call, by itself. You can, you can call your husband too, okay? We'll do that too, okay? But I, I, that way I don't have to. I, I got you on video. I, I understand. Because this is insane. Um, but we'll just park your car right up here. I can't park it there. Or over here. I can't park it there. I got some valuable stuff in this car. I can't do that. What all's in here? A lot. So, well, I don't want to. I don't want to tow your car. That's why I want you to park your car. Because like, we can't leave it right here. So. You know what this is? Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you. Okay, what? Let me um, call my husband. Yeah.